kingdom is looking oh so clear. Oh my God, please, no, 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 please let him be okay. Oh my God. My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it, stay wildin'. What's up my Walden people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with your boy Farley. Alright my Walden people, so in today's episode it's going to be dedicated to our boy Giant. That's right, Giant, my Tiger Shovel Nose Red Tail Hybrid. Guys, he's been acting kind of funny and I'm not too sure why. I'm not too sure what's going on with him, but enough of me talking. Let's get right into this and of course, let's get it. Alright guys, so I'm currently in the process of cleaning Olympia, but as you guys can see, there's Mr. Gar looking those so thick. There's Joey's red tail. Where's my red tail? Uh, who can miss that big old boy? Look at how massive this red tail is. This red tail has become the new king of Olympia. Giant was once the king of Olympia. Apart from that, let's see. There's Bassy. There's the marble car tiger shovel nose hybrid. There's a spotted tilapia. Some of the orange chickens are hiding right there in the corner. Let's take a closer look at them. And they're gone. They like to hide under here. Have a couple of placos. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but what's missing here is Giant. So here in Olympia, my Tiger Shovel Nose Hybrid used to be the king of Olympia until this guy came along, this Giant Red Tail. Let's roll a few clips. Is he gonna eat some more? Ah! <laughs> Who's coming? Who's coming? Oh! Yeah, it was him. You see how, how excited he gets for food? All right, my Walden people, take a look at him. Look who's ready. I'm gonna try to give him some of the more filet pieces, such as this right here. Let's see if he's gonna want it, he's gonna want it. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, he got me all in my face. Whoa, okay, that was wild. All right, let's see, uh, let's see if we'll come up for some more. Oh, look at, look at, look at Scar. Scar wants to join the party. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, my boy. My boy eating some fresh tilapia. Oh! Yo! <laughs> okay, he's vicious today. Look at how aggressive Goliath has gotten. Yo, I'm happy he doesn't have any teeth. And look guys, our favorite, our giant, he comes back up and he lets me pet him. That's my boy. Ooh! Okay, yes, my boy, he's back to being, back to being giant. Ooh. <laughs> In fact, the Tiger Shovel Nose used to literally bully, bully this guy right over here, this Marble car tiger shovel nose hybrid. And here's some clips of that happening. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, that was so cute. Ah, uh, look at the scar right over there. Very superficial. Whoa! What about scar? You want some? Come on, scar. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> So ever since we ended up getting this giant red tail, shout out to my boy Chris Fishers, giant was never the same. So as a result, we ended up putting giant here. Take a look, where's giant? Let's, let's see where giant is. He's right there and he's the king of the castle. Not bothering nobody, just living here in the corner, enjoying life. That's a massive tiger shovel nose red tail hybrid. So here, giant is doing well. In fact, giant has two Two similar fish. He has these Tiger Shovel Nose hybrids that are growing at a rapid rate. But for some reason, Giant has been acting up. He's been, he's been playing dead. Uh, let me show you guys what I mean. Ooh, guys, take a look at this. Look at them. The baby bass are getting bigger. All right, so we're going to have to trap the baby bass to make sure Bassy over there does not, I repeat, does not eat them. Look at them. They're getting big. Woo -wee. And look at the glass minnows. So Olympia, huh? it's not looking clean, clean. It's not looking too bad. I may clean it up just a little bit, but let's take a look at Catfish Kingdom. Alright. Catfish Kingdom is looking oh so clean. Oh my god, please. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, okay, please. Alright guys, so I I ended up moving giant because giant started acting up. I'm not too sure what's wrong with him right now. But as you guys can oh my god, please let him be okay. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my god. Okay. Alright, let's, let's. Okay, let's lift him up. Okay. Okay. Let's scoop him up and. Come on, giant! Okay, for some reason, something's wrong with giant. Giant just keeps doing this, keeps giving me heart attacks every day. He, he's, he's playing dead. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's playing dead. 
But as you guys can see, he's perfectly fine. I ended up moving him from Olympia because he was freaking me out so much. And I put him here in Catfish Kingdom to make sure he's not getting bullied by the Red Tail or the Marble Car Tiger Shovel Nose Hybrid. And that way he's the king of Catfish Kingdom. And for some reason, he loves to play dead. <sighs> Alright guys, so you just saw Giant play dead. I'm not too sure what's going on, what's wrong with them. This is insane. And at the same time, it is concerning. So guys, please comment below and let me know if you've ever experienced anything even remotely close to this, whether it be in a catfish, whether it be in any type of fish at all, honestly. Because it's very concerning. So guys, let me show you that Giant's doing well. Let me actually feed him so you guys can see it on camera. See if he'll eat some tilapia. Oh, the big boys want, oh, this big boy wants to eat some tilapia. All right, let's just move Giant real quick. There he is, ooh. Look at this boy, okay, we'll feed you in a second. First, we're gonna try to feed Giant. Take a look at Giant. It's moving around, moving around. Smack him with some tilapia on his face. And look, oh, look at this boy. He just engulfing this tilapia. You guys saw it firsthand that there's absolutely nothing wrong with, with Giant and he still has his, oh, he's getting bothered in her ass. And he still has his appetite. He has a full appetite. All right, guys, I have to feed some of the other fish in Catfish Kingdom before they get jealous. Okay, th well, there we go again. Look at Giant. What is he doing? He, he's just doing it again. I literally just fed him. He's fine. And now he's just playing dead. As soon as the fish starts harassing him, he's playing dead. Now look at this. This guy's going to come and eat. Is he going to come and eat? Yep, this guy's eating. What about this guy right over here? And look at him. He's, he's doing fine. He just ate and there he goes again. He comes back up. Comes back alive and there's nothing wrong with him. I'm pretty sure he'll eat again if I give him the opportunity. As soon as any fish starts to bother him, I'm not too sure if this is a mechanism or a tactic that he learned while he was in Olympia to play dead so no one would bother him, but he's obviously fine. It's the weirdest thing. Just throw some tilapia pieces around. See if he'll eat again. Oh my god. Okay. That was a hungry tiger shovel nose. All right, look at Giant, look at him. Huh, just dancing over here. And it's not a shade issue, because I don't know if you guys can see, but right there, I have two of those, and when I'm not recording my videos, I put them over my pool ponds, and it provides some type of shade. So it's not a shade issue, or else everybody else would be experiencing the same problem. He's alive and well, like if I grab him, look, look, if I grab his tail, not trying to harass him, but if I grab his tail, he quickly moves around, so he's alert, and he has no problem swimming. No problem at all. Let's see, we'll just do that one more time. Grab his tail, and see? He's active, and he swims. And I've seen him do laps around my pool pond here. So I'm not too sure what the issue is. Huh. All right, yeah, so you saw it. Giant swimming. He's able to go down. He's able to swim. He's he's healthy. He's eating. He hasn't lost weight. It's not a swim bladder issue, or else he wouldn't be he wouldn't be swimming. He wouldn't be able to go up and down in the water. Do you think he's developed a mechanism to learn how to play dead? Because maybe in Olympia, maybe the red tail was abusing him. Hey, who knows? Maybe it was the marble car that was abusing him. I have no idea. But this water's clean. This water's good. He has plenty of space to swim around and move around. They're obviously healthy, which is why they're growing and they have a good appetite. And technically, Giant is not doing bad because, as you guys can see, he is eating, he is swimming, he is alert. He's not bumping into anybody. He's just... He's just playing dead. But I'm going to keep a close eye on him and I'll just see if he does this, if he continues to do this. Un look at Lulu and her babies. Unfortunately, she's down to eight babies. Not too sure what happened to the other four babies. But as soon as they see me, they come running. Ah, oh, look at this. What's up, babies? How y'all doing? I'm still in the process of creating something right here for them. But what I have begun doing is I have begun putting a bowl of water and a bowl of food there for them so they do chill in this area. What's up? Oh, come on. Don't be acting like you shy, guys. Come on. As you guys can see, there are now eight. Please hold on until I have enough time to make this bed, to make this new home for you guys. So now, Catfish Kingdom has a new king, and that king is giant. No longer the pure breed tiger shovel nose. Where is he? Right over there. He's no longer the king, because now it is giant. But honestly, I think it was a hit to the ego. Because giant is a very 
The giant is a fish with a lot of personality, to be honest with you. He's very bougie, only eats tilapia from the bag. And apart from that, he was used to being the most dominant and most aggressive fish in Olympia. All right. Something that's pretty cool about, about this red tail is that he eats whole fish. Take a look at this guy. He sees it, he sees it, he sees it. And he comes up to eat out of my hands. Oh. Oh my god. And just like that, the fish is it's gone. Nothing but a tail. And the tail is gone. This guy is going to be big. He literally eats one of these fish a day. Alright my world and people, I hope you enjoyed this quick update, you know, this little vlog of how my boy Giant is doing. Guys, again, comment below and let me know if you have any idea whatsoever, even the slightest inclination of what may be going on with my boy Giant. Until next time, stay safe and of course, stay wildin'. Hey, hey you viewer, before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.